After hearing from my constituent whose veteran spouse tragically died by suicide and learning of the obstacles they face when trying to receive critical me mental health support for themselves and their children following his death, I introduced a bill to ensure veteran families struggling from such a loss have access to the support they need and deserve. My legislative language included in this bill before us today, the Strong Veterans Act, expands vet center eligibility for counseling and mental health services to families of service me members or veterans who died by suicide. This expansion of services is necessary so that these families can receive the critical mental health support needed to help them heal and move forward. We all know that grief can be extremely isolating and the families of service members and veterans who have died by suicide should not have to worry about enduring this difficult journey alone. Our military families who support a loved one that is serving or has served make a tremendous sacrifice for our country as well. We must ensure they have access to the care that they deserve and the help that they need when trying to move forward after a suicide has devastated them and their family. So Madam Speaker, I'd like to thank the chairman and the ranking member for working with me to include this very important piece of legislation in this package, and I encourage my colleagues to support it. I yield back. Gentleman yields back.